Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem in day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the location of a given load so that the displacement of bar AB remains horizontal after the loading. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking mechanics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're giving this and we want to find what is this distance from here to here where we can apply P so that bar AS remains horizontal. So it doesn't move this way or this way, it just displacement happens horizontally. Okay guys, so the first thing to do is really draw the free body diagram. So this is our free body diagram, this is how it looks like. So here I have tension because I have two cables we, or two rods, we have aluminum and we have steel. And then here we have the force. This is the distance we're looking for from here to here. Uh, and then this is 10 inches. So let's take the moment at C so that way we can figure out X. So let's do summation of the moment at C equals to zero. Let's choose this to be positive. So I have it like this. So I'm not going to count P because it's going to C. I have no moment arm, so we're not going to count it. So I have PA, which is minus PA times X. So this is the moment arm distance. And then minus, because this is going down, this is going the opposite direction of the moment. So I have minus. And then I have plus, because this is going this way. And then I have my force going up, so it's positive. So I have PS. And I have the distance is going to be 10 inches minus X because it's just, we just want this. This is your moment arm for PS. And so I have 10 minus X give me this distance. And so this is equal to zero. Now I can't really solve this equation because we have two unknowns or three unknowns and we can't really solve it. But what we can do is use the displacement equations. Because in the problem, it was stated that bar AB, we wanted the displacement to be horizontal. So that means the displacement at A is equal to the displacement at B. So this is what it means. Let me, uh, let me draw it here. So let's say this is bar AB. And initially, it was here, right? So this bar is going to move down, let's say, to here. This is final distance, DF. And so this displacement has to be the same as this displacement, right? Because that's what the problem stated. So I have displacement A is equal to displacement B. Now, if you go to the reference manual, you are giving the displacement equation right here, which is on page 84. So I have PL over AE. So let's write that equation down. Displacement at A is equal to this displacement at B. So this should be S because we noted this as S because of steel. Okay, so we have PLA over the area A and then the uh, Young modulus of aluminum. And this is equals to PLS. This is for the steel, area of the steel, and then the Young's modulus of the steel. So we were giving that the length of the rods for the steel and the aluminum are equal. So this cancels. The same thing with the area. So what we are left with, we are left with PA is equal to PS times EA over ES. EA was given as 10,000 over 29,000. And so this is equal to 0 0.35 PS. So I have PA is equal to 0 0.35 PS. So let's call this equation two. Now we can go back to our first equation and plug in PA with PS, and then we'll have less unknowns. So I have minus 0 0.35 PS times X plus 10 PS minus PS times X, and this is equal to zero. So what I did, I just multiplied this by this and this one by this one. And don't forget the x here. So now I can sum this one with this one. So and then take it to the other side. So I have 1.35 PS times x. 
and then this side I'm gonna have 10 PS right PS with PS cancels so now I have X is equal to 10 divided by 1.35 inches and this is equal to 7.43 inches so that this is our x and so the answer is going to be c okay guys so if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah, everybody now.